To put it on one level, I'm a foreplay junkie. I was very much a prude in school. Never a kiss on that first date. Anybody can be very sexual. Any person or any, any, any man, woman, child even. If I go to bed with somebody, I want to have something to talk to them about afterwards. I want to be in love. Why is it, because a man wants to remain single, that, that there has to be something wrong with him? Rona, that is my personal experience. I oh. can't share it with you. People go, hey, fantastic, you know, I love you, dear. Hey, you're a great kind of guy. I very rarely went to him with any problems. It's a very strange relationship. Hello and welcome. Thank you for visiting us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> for nothing but the truth. I think most people have no understanding of sex. Or, or, or a weird understanding of sex. I've never understood why people wanted to have an orgasm because that meant it was over. <laughs> I liked it to go on for a long time. <laughs> so I was never, that was not my goal, all right? In sex, as a, as a kid even. I, I want to tell this story so badly and I have a feeling it'll never get on the air. Um, tell it. I have a feeling that it may have bothered you somewhere that after you gained your recognition because of your first song, that because you wanted to be so understood that you were terribly misunderstood. Oh, absolutely. Totally right. Absolutely. Um, then why did you do what you did? <clears throat> um, I was just making a song and I thought it was a, I really kind of took it as a, as a gag and it was a gag that, that happened. So that really, that really wound up getting my foot in the door. Do you get any special feelings if you turn on your car radio or turn on your house radio and hear Elvis's music? Oh, absolutely. Because I can, I know what was going on during all the songs that were being recorded at the time. Uh, what was said, what the feeling was toward the song, if he should do the song. So the memory of what was happening during that time comes up. What I'll never forget, we were going to go swimming. And he said, go put your bathing suit on. And I, he came running in with anticipation and all that. And he looked at me and he said, my God, look at you, your skin and bones. He said, you've got to eat or do something. Is that it? And I said, yeah, this, that, that's it. You know, I was, I was really bummed out. So he, didn't, he held my hand three months after I knew him. We were in a movie. And in the middle of this movie, he held my hand. And I thought, well, hmm, what does this mean? But whatever it was, I liked him, and I liked it, and it was, and it was really terrific. And then we kind of, then this kind of strange relationship started to develop. But I never met a man like Sonny. I never will meet a man like Sonny. I mean, he's really unique unto himself. Have you ever found that you have lost control during a performance? Once, I was improvising and went, I was just talking on weird tangents. I was playing, what was the character? Well, I was doing this character, uh, Reverend Ernest Lee Sincere, and I was healing people. I, I almost decked this one kid. I was going, I'm prepared to be healed. Come forward. And I took this book and, and he started saying something. He just went, the good book upside the head. Bah! And he went, <laughs> and I went, oh, I hope you'll get up. 